Greetings and welcome to Duke City Cruise episode number 7. Now, in this episode, it looks like we're having trouble finding the aircraft slash airplane. Uh, let's see what happens here. Oh, never mind, we found it. Okay, the mission of this Tomcat slash Turkey's pilot and radar intercept officers to make sure that Duke City is back into the hands of healthy, safe, and out of trouble. The good side, that is. Now, what they're going to do is fight off capsids. And due to the fact that they are eager to fight off capsids, which are bad germs, of course, they slide off the runways. And not to mention that they also get in the air. And of course, they're on their way to go fight against whatever Thraxon and the other villains left behind before their death. And they're also going to make sure that these mountains are okay. Yes, they did a barrel roll on purpose to get the job done quicker. Now, of course, they did fire AIM-54 Phoenix missiles. However, not all of them left the railing slash pylons. And there were other F-14 Tomcats slash Crutchet slash turkeys in the area that helped them fight against Thrax and whatever they left behind. Oh yeah, the same stuff right there. Now the reason I say that is because, you know, one of the crew members pointed out that they were too close to the sun, and it blinded them a little bit. So now they correct it by going to the Kevin still play area, and of course making sure the east arm side of Duke City is okay. Now the reason why they did not finish off their other missiles consisting of AIM-54 Phoenixes and AIM-9 Sidewinders is because if they used it, it would be considered excessive force, and not to mention that there will be many innocent lives costed due to the fact that AIM-54 Phoenix missiles were fired, at least in this episode. Okay. Well, that being the case, you know, here's why I chose the Tomcat slash Turkey in this video. Well, first and foremost, please note that I armed it on purpose with two AIM-54 Phoenixes, two AIM-9 Sidewinders, and a TARP spot. It's because of this. Are you familiar with a deck of cards? And notice that there's a certain quantity of suits on there, like hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. Now, the armament I had chosen because of this. Well, due to the fact that this aircraft slash airplane is also a diamondback, I thought of a card, which happens to be the Seven of Diamonds. So I chose the aircraft slash airplane for this episode. Now, bearing in mind, of course, this is footage from when I first picked up the Tomcat slash Turkey by paying for it and downloading it and eventually installing it. Now, I've taken days to, of course, record myself flying this aircraft slash airplane. I even did some research on this aircraft slash airplane. What it is, is a multi-role fighter plane, originally built to be a fleet interceptor, meaning that when if the pilots and RIOs of the Grumman F-14 Tomcat are called to duty on board the aircraft carrier and or airfield, that there is a threat headed towards their battleships, aircraft carriers, destroyers, submarines, etc. They go ahead and they take off and they fight against the threat to protect the fleet. Now, of course, any all, each, and everything you do on the Tomcat, you do it as a turkey. No RIO can fly by him slash herself, and of course no pilot can fly by him slash herself. So, you will need a pilot and an RIO, and especially good pilot and or RIO to fly the Grumman F-14 Tomcat because, like I said, you do it as a crew and not to mention with the Tomcat slash Turkey, you fight your way back in, correction, you can fight your way in and not to mention fight your way back out of the fight, wherever it may be. In this case, it's the fight against whatever Thrax left behind, including his other villains especially those from Osmosis Jones. So that's why a good pilot and a good RIO are important, so that we could all be 
extra sets of eyes, ears, nose, mouths, including other senses, correction senses. So that way we could also pick up the senses, not to mention reporting back to each other, keep eyes out for each other, let you know what we see, and then from there, return to base, hopefully. And of course, of course, these guys were protecting the East Mountains, and they've done exactly that. Okay, now if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and please let me know what I could do better in the comment box below. So now we're back at base. Not the best landing, but what more can I say? The pilot was eager to, of course, go out there, fly, fight, win. And not to mention, bring his Tomcat slash turkey home.